It has been just over 10 years since the state of New York legalized same-sex marriage. It happened on June 24, 2011, after a string of painful failures. New York's Marriage Equality Act passed the Republican-controlled Senate 33 to 29. Governor Andrew Cuomo signed the bill into law at five minutes to midnight. Celebrations poured into the streets here in New York City, including right here in front of the Stonewall Inn, where we are tonight. Now, the law took effect one month later. More than 800 couples tied the knot on the very first day. That law might never have been passed without an army of volunteers and elected officials, including our next guest, New York State Assembly Member Danny O'Donnell. Joins us now, Assembly Member O'Donnell. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you, Joshua. It's a pleasure to be here. What do you remember most from the fight to pass that Marriage Equality Act here in New York? Uh, that it took five years, that my house passed it three times before it went to the Senate, and it, it took people all across the state communicating with their elected officials about what they need. Was it the same stumbling block here in New York as maybe other states and other parts of the country encountered? Yes, because most people think New York is just this, and it's not. New York State is very diverse. Some of it's more like Ohio than New York City. And so uh, in the beginning, when I first got the bill, we only had 24 yes votes for marriage. Two months later, we put it on the floor. 85 people voted yes. When you were writing letters to your colleagues to try to get support for this at the time, you would end with a message from you and your partner at the time writing, John and I thank you for taking the time to consider this. I can only imagine Imagine how important it was for you personally at the time to see this become law. Uh, it was very personal. John and I have been together for over 40 years. It's a very long time. It's like 80 years for straight people. And <laughs> we uh, deserve the right to be treated equally under the law. Um, I knew when I got to Albany, if I wanted my relationship to be treated equally, I had to show that relationship to my colleagues. Um, and I did. And I used every tactic I could th think of to get them to vote yes. The objections that you heard at the time, the things that people said to you then, how do you think those folks would reflect on their objections today, 10 years after this has become law? The sky clearly has not fallen in New York. Well, when I finally met President Obama before he changed his mind, I told him that not a single heterosexual was harmed during my wedding. And the picture of me and him is him laughing very much. The reality is I don't want a religious ceremony. I want a piece of paper. The government gives us a piece of paper and not a bad thing has happened anywhere in America because we have the same rights as everybody else. New York State has continued to pass more equality uh, legislation in the state. Just recently, the state passed and Governor Cuomo signed into law a measure that would allow people to change their vital statistics forms to conform with their gender identity and to do so more privately without there being a, a notice in the newspaper saying that this person was trying to change a vital statistics document. What more needs to be done here in New York State, in your view? Well, last year I passed the bathroom access bill. This year I passed uh, the gender recognition law, and they are both are very important. But the truth is, those members of our community who are trans are most at threat. They're most likely to get beat up or die. And so we need to make sure that we do better education with our children and in our schools to ensure that they're safe and make sure that they have the proper role in our society as full and equal Americans. What would it mean for you as a state assembly member to see something like the Equality Act passed in Congress? Would it do, I guess what I'm asking is, is the line between what you're able to do as a state lawmaker and the kinds of things that you really do need Congress to do on Capitol Hill? It always helps when Congress does it. It gives a sense of relief and calmness to the local legislators who may be nervous. And we heard a lot of nervousness in, in 2007, 2011. That nervousness is gone. And my colleagues regularly ask me how John is. So that's a good thing. How is John? He's very tall and handsome. He's right there. Oh, yeah. yeah indeed he is. Indeed he is, yes. Yes, he is. Hi, John. So, Pride, let me ask you about this year. What has Pride been like for you? Have you been out marching or active or celebrating? Or what's this year been like? My celebration starts now, just so you know. So I... The minute you get off this set. That's correct. Okay. And I get to be with my people. Yes, this is the first time in 20 plus years I didn't march. Um, and when we were planning it, it was before 
COVID was resolved, we yeah. weren't sure what was going to happen. So I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be out and see all these people from all different walks of life uh, just being who they are. A little part of me is jealous of you because you get to go be with the tribe after this. I'm at work right now, and I got to go home and get to bed. But I hope you enjoy this evening. New York State Assembly Member Daniel Donald, thanks very much. We really do appreciate you being here. Josh, was my pleasure.